Good afternoon. Uh, Mike Byron. I'm the President and CEO of Nighthawk Gold Corp. Uh, we're a junior exploration company developing an advanced portfolio in northwestern or northern Canada, just north of Yellowknife in the in Northwest Territories. It's a regional place centered around a former producer. Um, I'm sure you've heard of a lot of those. Uh, the difference here would be that former producer uh, had a rather interesting analog, and that is it's, a, it's pretty much a carbon copy uh, of the golden mild dolerite in Western Australia. So it's a differentiated mafic sill, and during its production days, it wasn't understood as that. So what we did is we went in and we uh, consolidated the entire camp. Uh, we own everything outright, no royalties, and uh, began that process you know, in, uh, in uh, around 2010 and 11 and onward of building out that story and demonstrating that that deposit that sat at the center, Colmac, had a long uh, life ahead of it. Right now we're sitting at about 2.6 million ounces. We've explored about half this, uh, this, this um, intrusion. So I think the upside is, is quite apparent. I mean, I think we, you know, without stepping out on a limb, I think we can grow that quite, quite nicely as we move forward. We're well cashed up uh, enough to, to continue on in a 2020 program. Uh, we've got good sponsorship, both uh, corporate uh, as well as strategic. And some of these have been in the story for almost 10 years. So it's not, uh, it's not something that people haven't uh, looked at and followed along for some time. As I said, we're located uh, north of Yellowknife. That's our land position. Uh, that green line's an ice road that goes through it. We have a 5,000-foot airstrip on site that we use year-round. It's a 40-minute flight from Yellowknife. And that dotted line is the all-season road that's currently under production, getting the, uh, the all-season access a little bit closer to us. Um, we do have the material to build the rest of that road on site because they said it was a former producer and all that benign rock was stockpiled. So. We've let the territorial government know this and uh, had meetings with them yesterday to the, to the tune of, of what this could mean going forward in terms of building out internal access into the NWT, which is one of their prime directives. That's our land package. Um, as I said, it's a rather large, about you know, 900 square kilometers, so roughly three times the size of the Timmins camp. Uh, Colmac, the former producer, sits at the, in, at the center. What we identified in the early days was, um, you know, you, you, if you look around the world, you'll never find a, a, a multi-million ounce deposit that's got some good grade and, 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 and great opportunity to grow sitting by its lonesome in an Archean terrain. There's always opportunities around it, and that speaks to the robust nature of the mineralized system that, that uh, infiltrates the rocks. So when I first got busy up there, I started looking lateral to Colmac and saw exactly what that, you know, a lot of deposits that were showing a lot of grade and width, but no activity, very limited drilling. So that was when we consolidated the whole thing. Right now, about 40% of that land position are in 25-year mining leases. This time next year, 100% of that will be in 25-year mining leases. We own it outright. It costs us about 150 grand Canadian to hold it. There's no option payments, there's no earn-ins, there's nothing. So I think it's about the simplest land ownership you'll, you'll ever see where someone can consolidate an entire camp at its very early stages, right? This is, this is not like going into a mature camp. This is a, a camp that's still got its uh, better years in, uh, in front of it. The main, a the main asset is, at Colmac is a sill. So it's sitting, in, that's the blue material you see there that sits intercalated into the stratigraphy. Um, the reason why I say it's, a, it's identical to the golden mild dolerite is it is. It's differentiated, meaning the top of the sill has a different chemical makeup to the base. Suffice to say it's more brittle at the top of the sill. That's where all the gold occurs, and that's where we've been focusing our exploration. You're looking at about nine kilometer long the main body and uh, a couple of parallel sills that are also mineralized that constitute three to four kilometers. So it's a rather, rather sizable uh, piece of, uh, of, uh, of um, a deposit to work in. Outcrops on surface and is all, it's sub-vertical. Back in 2012 when we, when we acquired the asset from the federal government of Canada, the first thing I did was, well, Kalgoorlie has, or the Golden Mile Dollar in Australia has high grade. Colmac was never known as a high grade deposit. Let's look for, the, for those signatures and start studying and seeing what would localize grade in this system. Drilled 100 meters north of the open pit, right underneath their noses, and hit that 52 meters of almost eight grams. Well, that's not the open pit grade that they were mining. So again, we had to step out and, and determine, hey, are these high, discrete high grade shoots inside this system? 
like the uh, analog in Australia, or did we just drill down something fortuitous? We stepped out and you could see that, no, that this thing is mineralized in this domain. Well, subsequent to this drilling, we've taken this domain to over 300 meters strike length from surface at outcrops down to 650 meters and it's open. But the really intriguing part is as we started drilling deeper in the system, the width of the top of the sill, which is where all the gold occurs, it's a stockwork style mineralization. Um, it's about 30 to 50 meters in true width. Down at those depths, it's, it, it uh, widens out to about 150 meters. So this thing is a wedge-shaped intrusion, and, and uh, some of the news that we've put out the latest today was testing other areas along the seven kilometer, and we're seeing that same morphology. So this thing swells at depth. So we see it as an open pit opportunity, large tonnage, low-grade open pit. We also see it as an underground opportunity with those, with those widths, those stopes of up to 100 meters plus, carrying higher grade, we think it's got a shot at that. And we're also uh, uh, doing a lot of heap leach, uh, you know, uh, testing on this as well because we think it's got a, a potential for that and commingling all the deposits we have in the camp around it that we own. So it really is doing something totally different than the previous producers uh, did. So it wasn't just going back in a better gold environment, but it's also bringing some new ideas to this fruition. This year we drilled a hole um, just up plunge of that big, um, that early cut, and you can see what we got, 56 meters of almost a half ounce. Um, this is a diatreme facies inside the sill. It's like a gas escape structure. What does that mean? It means that there's better plumbing system in this part of the sill. Uh, at the PDAC, we're going to show some core that uh, will have a 10 meters, three core boxes of one, one and a half ounce grade, and you'll see what it, you know, what it looks like if you happen to be at that show, but it's quite spectacular. So clearly, Colmac is more than a large tonnage low-grade opportunity when you're pulling systems like this out of the guts of it. So these would be localized vertical shoots. In terms of what have we done so far, there's our 2.6 million ounces in, uh, in the uh, orange color. All the opportunity to fill in and find more is, you can see, in the, in the gray. And the high-grade shoots that we know of today are outlined plunging in the, in the, uh, in the uh, gray, the darker gray, and they're all widening to depth. That's just showing the geometry of one of these high-grade plunging chutes at uh, zone 1.5, but you know, right to, the, to the right you'll see some of the cuts we got. Again, just driving home that this is not the precursor of, of, of reinventing Colmac in a better gold environment. There's a real opportunity here to do something different. Widening to depth. You can see how the top of the sill is very narrow at the top. That's constrained by historical drilling. That's not you know, artistic license on our part. And as we're drilling deeper, you can see she widens out. And that's the true width increasing into the top. So if we can you know, get into an underground operation, I think we've got a good shot at doing something really exciting here at Colmac. But second part of the story is all the regional assets. And just gander through some of these, you'll see they're distributed over our entire land package and there's no shortage of grade, there's no shortage of width in the systems, but there's a big shortage of drilling and exploration. So we are looking at this as Hey, when you, when you have an asset that sits in the, in the center of your land position that has the potential to host maybe four, five, six million ounces, it doesn't sit by its lonesome. There's no way that a system like that, that that's fertile and mineralized, is sitting all by itself. So those lateral deposits are, 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 are expressing some of the robust nature of the system that, what, that was active here in the, in the uh, Indian Lake Greenstone Belt. And these are the future uh, deposits that we're going to dovetail into the Colmac story, and we're working on those as we go. Thanks.